code written in high level language into the machine or it can be known as the object code. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Sai Surya's Academy. If you are new to my channel then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more interesting videos. In the C programming series, we had already been discussed about the structure of C program, tokens of C, history of C, etc. And in this series, now we are going to discuss about the executing a C program. That is how a C program can be executed. The procedure remains the same irrespective of the OS. In the two popular OS, what we have known is the that is for executing C programs. The two popular OS are Unix and MS-DOS. These are the two popular OS. The procedure remains the same. The syntax or the naming the files may differ. Okay. Now for executing a C program, it consists of four steps. One, creating a source program and then compiling the source program and then linking the source program and then executing the source program. We will discuss all those things one by one in this video. Okay. Now we want to know about what is the OS. OS is nothing but the operating system. We all know. That is, it is the program which controls all the inputs, outputs and the overall function of the computer system comes under the OS. It acts as an interface between the hardware and the user. Hardware and user. All the inputs, outputs are channeled through the OS only. Okay. Now we are going to create a source program and what are all the process takes place after that. Consider enter or edit the source program. The float in the, in the previous video we had already discussed about the flow charts, how to create a flow chart and what are all the symbols meanings. If you want you can check I will give it in the I button. Okay. The first step is enter or edit the source program. In the program what we are writing that is the user writes in the high level language that is called the source program. Always the after writing the source program say for example it can be it has to be represented with the dot c extension say for example hello.c now after entering the source program we have to compile the source program using the c compiler now we want to know about what is the purpose of the compiler what does the compiler do say for example consider just any program say for example this is hello.c this is the source program what we had written now using a c compiler we are compiling the main purpose of the compiler is to convert the program that is the source code written in high level language into the machine code or it can be known as the object code the machine code only contains zeros and ones. Zero one. Just a example. This is called the object code. Now the program becomes hello dot obj. That is object. The main program which is written in the high level language that is the user we can be able to understand only the high level language. This is called the source program. Now after compilation it turns to machine code or a low level language and it turns as a it that is the machine code only 
the understands zeros and ones the system can able to understand only zeros and ones that is called the machine code so this is just a small representation or a example now the source program turns to object code this is the purpose of the compiler after compiling the source program we will get if any syntax error occurs it will show if any syntax error doesn't occur it will directly move to the linker that is linked with the system library now what is the syntax error syntax error is nothing but suppose if you miss any that is when you are violating the syntax of writing the statements that is when you are missing any semicolon suppose if a program contains a open braces and you forget to make a closed braces such errors are called the syntax error or small tokens or punctuation marks anything you have missed will comes under the syntax error suppose if you are having the syntax error then yes it will move to the source program suppose if you are having no syntax errors then it will move to the link with the system library using the system library now here we want to know again we want to know about the system library the system library has been already discussed in the structure of c program etc now a small representation system library that is it is also called as the when system library when we are using the input and output functions then we have to use the console or the header file that is the std io.h when we are using a square square root function sqrt function or exponential function then it comes under the mathematical operation so we want to use math.h these are all the system library suppose the input output functions are the scanner printf etc mathematical operation just example square root exponential etc when we are using the particular system library function we have to use the particular header file that is standard input output stdio.h or the math.h now linking with system library that is the linker after compilation the linker will convert the object code that is the compiler has converted the source program into object code now this hello.obg that is the object code without any syntax syntax errors after compilation without any syntax errors it will move to the linker and then it becomes as a executable file which turns to hello.exe that is the object code that is the machine code program of the low level language after conversion will change to a executable file then what is the purpose of a linker or what is the definition of the linker the purpose of the linker is to just change the or link the object code of our program that is the user written program object code of our program with the system library object code of the system library and other files that is it combines all the object code modules link with the linker and that is the system library inbuilt functions and then it will convert to a executable file now we will be very clear i think that is object code of our program linked with the system library this is the basic definition then it will change to a executable file execute link with the system library and then execute object code here it will turn as a exe files here the file will be dot c extension in the source program after compilation it will after completing the syntax error it will change to dot obj and after the link that is the link with the system library process completes it will change to the execute object code that is the dot exe function 
and then after the executing the object code then it will check for any logic or data errors data errors are very simple that is suppose if you are declaring a variable as an integer say for example integer a and when we want to run the program if we give the input as say for example 88.58 when declaring a as an integer when we are declaring as a float variable what happens it is not a integer declaring as a integer variable and giving the input as 88.58 will make a data error this is the float the number with decimal point is called as the float so it will show a data error again we have to input data and then next comes the logical error what is the logical error suppose it contains a great bug or a mistake in writing the code itself so that the programming instruction do not meet the intended goal or the required output what is the necessary output we want suppose if we are doing a multiplication program we want to get the two numbers to be get multiplied when the when we get, do not get the desired output then there is a mistake in coding the instructions we have to again refix the program so when we are having the logical error it will again starting from here move on to the enter or edit the source program once again it has to be compiled after correction once again it has to be compiled once again syntax error has to be checked and then the link with the system library again object code again it will check for logical errors and then the final when we doesn't have any logic or data errors no here yes when we have errors it will move when we doesn't have any errors we will get the correct output a small recap just entering the source program with the extension .c hello .c and then compiling checking for any syntax errors that is punctuation marks any semicolon or any open or close braces and then linking with the system library the system library has been discussed here has stdio.h math.h for using input output function or any mathematical functions and then executing object code and then finally checking logic and data errors and then we will get the correct output this is the entire procedure for executing a c program if you find this video really useful share this video with your friends make a small appreciation comment thank you in the comment section catch you all in next video keep supporting sai suryas academy